Also tonight, officials at Mobile Gas are trying to assure the public they are taking care of Mercaptan gas in the area after a 2008 spill caused concerns in the eight mile community that seem to grow larger every year. Mobile Gas held an open house today and led residents on a tour around the facility that treats groundwater exposed to Mercaptan to explain how it works. News 5's Emily DeVoe tells us their efforts were not well received by everyone and she's live in our newsroom with more. Emily. Well, Devin, the tour was informative in the sense that they explain how they treat the groundwater exposed to Mercaptan, which is a very smelly gas, but it didn't answer the questions people on the tour really wanted to know, and that's because Mobile Gas officials say their hands are tied. My job is just to give you a brief overview of what you're going to see out there at the site. The tour started inside as engineer Brad Newton explains how their two water treatment facilities work. We're extracting groundwater from the, from the subsurface running it through an ozone treatment system and injecting ozone to it and then discharging it back into the environment. Then we hopped on a van and drove out to one of the facilities that was built last year based on various tests showing what areas have the highest traces of mercaptan. All the testing and results that were received from all that work that was did, the soil borings, the groundwater samples, those type of things is what drove the location of the system. Top of the tank. They talked about the process and procedures, but when it came to the questions a lot of people had, they couldn't answer them. That question I, I can't address because I'm under the court order. A lawsuit against Mobile Gas for the 2008 spill prohibits them from talking about anything other than the facility itself, and that caused some frustrations. When the tour was over and people got off the van, they say they were just as confused as before they came out here today. All the questions I had were taboo because of situations that's going on, you know. It didn't help me. It wasn't a good tour. I don't think it was, but I can appreciate uh, uh, Mobile Gas uh, coming out and, and sharing what they, they did share, but it was very, very limited, and the people were no better off um, going and no better off coming back. So the company's efforts to inform the community had the opposite effect for some. Mobile gas officials say some of the questions they weren't allowed to answer can be found on the Alabama Department of Environmental Management's website. Live in the newsroom, Emily DeVoe, News 5.